So, um, Mary J. Blige made a statement not too long ago. What she said was that men were not naturally monogamous and that she never met a man that did not have more than one woman. I'm pretty sure she made a lot of people mad. And I'm also sure that she kind of, you know, um, uh, uh, helped somebody's ego out. Some folks' egos out. Okay? So, shots fired. All right. But, you know, really and truly, there are differences between men and women. Our humanity is the same, of course. But there is physical mental and um emotional dish uh differences concerning how we tend to look at things and react all right so we we're already aware of the physical differences between uh, men and women for one a man's strength is in his upper body since his uh ability to um handle heavy lifting and handle um heavy equipment better than women all right so our our uh strength is in our lower body hence our ability to push out another human being well there's also major differences between men and women i think they're important um i'm getting ready to go down uh, the list that i made so let's start with uh, how men and women express their emotions Men express their emotions through physical gestures. Women express theirs through words. Now, you're going to hear the words part in relation to women throughout my, um, throughout this uh, small video, okay? So, men generally are more emotionally stable than women whose behavior may change due to hormonal fluctuations. I'm on my period right now. Don't mess with me. Got an attitude. You don't want to mess with a woman who's on her cycle. <laughs> a woman who's going through menopause, you just might not understand. But if you understand that a lot of, her, of what you're getting from her is the result of these natural occurrences in her body, maybe men and women would be able to accept uh these hormonal or uh, these emotional flux fluctuation in women better because they know they understand why it is so as a rule men can remain um emotional more emotional calm than a woman in situations where there is uh an, an emergency an emergency uh for an example so i was i remember staying with my cousin and um he had a uh, he owned a construction company so he had employees staying with them and they you know a couple of them had their women and i remember me and um one of the ladies we were cooking and a fire started and we we just panicked we didn't we was going back and forth and she was screaming i was like oh my god like trying to find something to put it out the man came and had something uh in his hand already and he put the fire out so I can I can see that in men better. I can see that uh, happening, um, whereas they can remain more emotional calm than um, us. Some studies have shown that women are emotionally invested in relationships than men. I think so, especially at first. All right, I think women are the first to become emotionally invested, and then the men. Uh, they either or not but I think the woman is first so bottom line men and women are uh, equally emotional wise but tend to express and process them differently a man will overestimate a woman's interest in him and women tend to underestimate a man's interest in her this difference in perception can lead to adverse outcomes such as sa 
So women need to be very, very careful and who they quote who they are quote and unquote friendly with if they are not interested in that man because you might be truly and genuinely trying to show just be friendly but he's looking at it differently he's saying to himself she wants me when you don't so you want to women should be very careful of that don't be willing to flirt if you're not willing to face the consequences okay so men are uh, more aroused by who they are attracted to Women are more aroused by auditory, olfactory, and emotional stimu stimulation. Remember I said, remember uh, the, uh, what did I, I said something about women being um, influenced by what they hear. Here it is, it's saying the same thing. We're more aroused by auditory while men are more aroused by what they are attracted to so in other words women can become aroused and influenced simply by what they hear quote unquote sweet talk um mac uh macking and all that you know how the little cliches that men use that those those things that you know they they really work they really work on women you can really influence a woman and and uh, have her thinking a certain way and and have her feeling a, way, a certain way just by what you say way more so than um, uh, the man on the op opposite uh, spectrum you can't really influence him to that extent and to arouse him emotionally by what you say so men have a more permissive attitude towards casual sex and desire more sexual partners that kind of goes back to what Mary J. Blige was saying when she said that men aren't naturally monogamous. She may have a good point according to these scientific studies, okay? This comes from sources where scientists have studied the emotional and sexual differences between men and women. Let's go back to what I just said. Men have a more permissive attitude towards sexual, casual sex, and desire more sexual partners. I'm kind of leaning towards what Mary J. Blige is saying. Men are more visually stimulated by what they see. Women are more stimulated by what we hear. I have heard that point three times in, in what I have uh, talked about concerning the differences between um, men and women and how they perceive things. So women are easily to be talked into things and to um, with more willing to bleed just by hearing what a man has to say. I'm just going to be honest. I have always felt that men were not naturally monogamous that's just not in their nature um i too have experienced uh situations uh personally and by observation rumors and so forth about just about just about every man that i've ever known that was not monogamous with just one woman so I'm, I have to side with Mary J. Blige um, that men are not naturally monogamous. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at nature. And that is all. Thank you all for listening to this short video. Please like and share this, uh, this video. Subscribe to my, sh my channel. Support the channel, please. I'd appreciate it. Peace.